I had to memorize that one. It's very difficult. Yeah, it's almost like it's written right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we're in winners finals. The Buzz versus John right, Numbers. The gone already. And, and all right, the yeah. buzz knows to tech. Yeah, he he knows, but he's still taking damage. I mean, not only that, but without Luma, the disadvantage for Rosa is so much harder. And Luma's gone again in the blink of an eye. Yeah, Numbers is looking. This is this is like that sort of dominance that we just saw him dish out against Tilda. I mean, think about how high he must be feeling right now, managing to get that big win, and he is looking to go even deeper with it as right now DeBuzz is struggling against him. Yeah, no, this is, this feels like a matchup DeBuzz doesn't want to play into, but I know he wants to go all Rosa today, specifically just to grind it up, and draw numbers is like, yo, you're not prepared for like new me. Do you ever expect that if this does, in fact, go very south for the Buzz, do you think he would ever switch off uh, of the Rosa? Maybe. I think really low chance, because I know he did want to grind it up, but there's always a possibility. I mean, there's a decent <laughs> chunk of money on the line right now. Yeah, true. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> I also, so normally, you know, Numbers, one of the, his game plans with Wii Fit is about calling out people's jumps with Wii Fit's fantastic anti-air options. Normally, the one he relies on the most is Sun Salutation, but notice how in this game, knowing he can't do that because of the Rosa down B, oh, wow, yeah. hitting up that stock, though, is huge for uh, the buzz. But instead, he's going for, like, a lot more of those uh, boxing tools from Wii Fit. The forward tilt, the up tilt, the, the forward air. Yeah, so. and she's able to do that because she kind of out framed out as Rosa, in a sense, and Rosa doesn't have a lot of great get off me options, so just beat, beating up on Rosa, especially when Luma's not there. Well, I, I, Luma's never been there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Numbers yeah. has been killing that little star so consistently. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was definitely not there like my, my father. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. Ooh. Just dash attack, the bravery from Numbers. Oh, but that bravery might cost him. He's now off stage. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Numbers taking the lead once again. <laughs> and again, we can't say it enough. He's just oh. playing so amazing, getting so much damage. 45% still, even with the Sunny Salutation absorbed. And look at this, Numbers deep off stage. It seems like Tabuzz feels pressured to go for one of those deep edge guards, but also knows the risk, he can't fully commit to it. It's it the ledge trapping. Let's see if Numbers can find a way off of this ledge. Normally he's so comfortable there, but with that green plush staring him down, definitely not the same. Yeah. So 68% just done onto him. And you see him catching the anti-airs. Up to, yeah, no. Up here. That move kills. It's... <sighs> I can't believe numbers is too stuck. The buzz, he is looking fantastic right now. Yeah, let's the, watch that last one. Yeah, one that just ran right under him in. up tilt into up air. I think that the buzz needs to play a little bit more grounded in this next game. Yeah, you know? no, he definitely does because, as you said before, numbers likes to call out jumps, and he's just finding now different options to do that with instead of using the Sun Talutation. Yeah, also I love that, the double function of this forward tilt. Not only does it kill Luma, also the back hit kills the Buzz. That was so good from numbers. Yeah, you gotta watch he, out. His brain is just like all gears, all steam yeah. engines firing right People now. People call the Buzz the Galaxy brain, but John Numbers, definitely up there with the smartest players out. Oh scene. yeah. If you ever talk with this guy, the amount of game knowledge that he has, is just it's kind of absurd. Yeah. Definitely like an encyclopedia of this game. <laughs> and various other games. He, it's not, he's a multi-game player. Yeah. I mean, the Buzz also, very, like, one of the smartest players I've ever seen. I used to watch this man's, um, uh, his, like, analysis streams, where he would go, like, frame by frame on his and other people's Yo, games. Yo, I love those streams. Dude, I love those streams so much. I, you can't not learn. Yo, watch Twitch or TV and have to buzz somebody. Yeah. <laughs> when you're not watching Xeno at House of 3000. <laughs> oh, you know, Numbers is looking really good in that last game, but this time around, it feels like the buzz has made some necessary adjustments. The punish is not quite where they used to be. And yeah. like that, the buzz trapping him on the ledge. Is that jab going to do it? Yes. Yeah, no, we definitely have ourselves an angry to buzz. He is not happy about the performance game one. 
I think also stage really helping out. Like, it feels like Numbers is not killing Luma nearly as easily this time around. Yeah, and crazy enough, we're in a more enclosed stage compared to, like, PS2. Yeah, and it's the fact that the platforms are there means that Numbers has to go for different options to actually, you know, start to kill Luma. Yeah. And they were a little bit slower that time around, and that meant that the Buzz was able to actually save the star, and this is the benefit of doing it. Yeah, oh. look at this one. He's trapped at ledge with Luma there. It's so scary. Oh, hitting the ball back. Oh, I like numbers going, fading, drifting out just to avoid the dare, but still, nonetheless, still trapped in the corner. With this sun salutation, it might help alleviate some of the ledge pressure. Yup, just knocking Luma out of the way, being too far away for the down B even to save him, I believe. Yeah. So. Really smart from numbers. But oh, yeah, missed the, missed the deep breathing and just died for it. Can't be missing those, not in this situation. Yeah. And, yeah, two stocks to one now. The buzz with a sounding lead. Oh, Luma just taking the hit. Yeah, I do like that. Looking more for those sun salutations now. Recognizing that, you know, he was struggling to kill Luma with his normals. So instead, use the specials to do it. Yeah. If one thing doesn't work, try something else. Oh, and that time actually hitting Rosa herself. And <laughs> how could you do that to Luma? <laughs> right in the back of the head. Yeah, no, I, I would do it to Luma. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> Luma's a menace. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Look at all this damage already. John Numbers taking about 60. And once more trapped at the ledge with that Luma. I have never seen Numbers struggle at, you know, being at the ledge yeah. ever like this. I've seen him against Mr. E, one of the best ledge trappers out there. He gets off ledge for free, but this time around, he is he gets put on ledge and he dies or takes like 80. Yo, did, did you see that SDI into Waveland just now? <laughs> Numbers was, was kind of slick with that. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of slick, but he's also yeah. just been lapped in percent. True. How much slickness can, uh, how much is that really gonna do for you when, oh man, you are down by just this much. Yeah. No, this is not looking healthy. At the same time, the boss hasn't really, at least so far, ever gotten a um like an edge guard, you know, going yeah. out there and really killing numbers. It's mainly been from the ledge traps or the juggle situations. Yeah. Seems like he opted more into doing that. In the situation. Yeah, I mean very good recognition from the buzz. And then oh, this could be the start of something, oh, but yeah. no. Yeah, th that didn't do as much damage. There's a lack of deep breathing. Yeah, exactly. But now deep breathing is in effect. I love that. Just punishing the the roll onto stage. And now John. Oh. Oh. Yeah, didn't couldn't punish the buzz for overextending right there. Well, I think that was actually really smart from the buzz. He went off to force the get up timing. Sort of scared numbers because otherwise he would have gotten trumped. So at that point he went for the neutral getup and he was able to, you know, hit him with the neutral air, meaning that you know, miss tech on that platform. Look at the coverage. Yeah. Oh, I love he just that. Put so much pressure. He dashes away, dashes back and forth, recognizing that numbers can drop from that platform and hit him. So, uh, but like you know, with we with uh, Rose's speed rather, still able to dash in and still get the up smash for the kill. Yeah, he, he basically just scared John. He's like, yo, you're gonna have to pick an option eventually, and I'm gonna be in the area, and you don't know when I'm gonna press this button, so you wanna hold shield. And with that up air like being safe, safe enough, like John's like, okay, maybe I can get off this situation, but nah, it was a trap. Yeah, and so to Buzz responding with a two stock of his own, but as we move into game three, the fact that John took game one is gonna be really big because he's gonna get stage choice. It's going to be small battlefield. Very interesting. I thought he was maybe going to opt for uh, a wider stage. Uh, either a wider stage or a stage where maybe there could be some quirky platforms that could help him land or get off the ledge, like Kalos? Yeah. Something like that. Maybe. Kalos is probably banned, actually. Yeah. Maybe he just wanted, it John was, wanted yes, to push him. Banned. Maybe John just wanted to push him more. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, we I, see PS2 that was banned, but he just probably... You see how quick he got rid of Luma, so... And he's not playing as, like, off stage as he is. He's taking the fight <laughs> to the buzz. Oh, I love that. Still managing to do... That, the fact that he goes for the side beat on Luma, that does, I think, 25%, something crazy like that. That's almost an entire Luma life. Yeah. 
definitely does massive. Oh, but landing there, gonna do some damage right there. Oh, man. Look at this. I love the patience right now from both players. John being in the corner right there, yeah. but not in a scared way. It's more of in a matter of trying to get control. These guys are like Tibetan monks with their patience. Just they, The monks might have learned from them. <laughs> just ha has not eaten, stayed in the mountains for 70 years. Rolls a few goats. <laughs> <laughs> Survived on yak milk. Oh, Yo. no. The no. nutrition is too much. Numbers ends up getting hit by that up there. And despite the lead that he managed to get at the start of this, it is gone. And oh, but evening it up is fantastic. Doesn't let number, uh, John uh, to buzz yeah, run away with that right. stock lead. A lot of names here. <laughs> three names at most. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 got, I literally last tried it. Yeah, it it's alright. It worked out. It worked out. <laughs> but... Now we see John fighting from the ledge, but like in this more John like position where he will do soccer ball off ledge and try to convert off of it. I know, and one thing about that is that you're noticing the buzz isn't putting Luma at a distance on the very ledge anymore. I think that's because John has actually started to turn that around and kill Luma if he's like leaves her too and too far away. Oh, yeah. that up there almost doing it, man. Yeah, and he also hasn't gotten a lot of like stage control from doing that, and now. With the two frame right there, John almost dying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He sends Luma off to the ledge, and instantly Luma dies. This is actually a huge opening for John. Yeah, deep and breathing in effect. Yeah. John won't die from anything too crazy. Oh, <laughs> now he definitely can though. Yeah, no. 142. I'm not sure what happened with the buzz. He's facing the wrong way. Yeah, I think he wanted to do the Luma shot and then, like, do, like, you could put Puppeteer to go back, but it was just too, like, early or late in that situation. Yeah. John is on possibly his last stock of winner's bracket. Oh. Okay, yeah. Luma just taking the sun right there. All right, Luma gone means that possibly this could be a big opening for John. At the very least, he gets both sun and deep breathing, but at what cost? Taking a lot of damage from that neutral air to yeah. forward air. Losing a lot of stage positioning for it, too. And look at that. Luma is yeah. back, baby. That's going to be it. Dying at such low percent. That's the first time we had really seen that. And, I mean... Numbers was looking so good, but you can't forget the threat that the buzz poses. I yeah, know this guy always a threat to win any tournament in the world. Oh yeah. Uh, for a Smash Ultimate. Uh, I mean, not basketball <laughs> tournament, like the buzz is <laughs> the buzz is just the, bu dude, the buzz got hops? I, I don't think so. The buzz claims he has a like three point shot, but yeah, 